Right, so I've got this set up so I can see what I am filming. So I want to do a really cute earthy set. Um, and I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. So let's jump straight into it. So for my earthy set, I'm obviously gonna need um, some earthy colors. So these are the four colors that we're gonna be using. I think I might try and incorporate this palette as well. It's a new palette that's launched. It's like crushed opal shimmers. Also, um, these are super, super pretty. I'm gonna use the gold ones. Let's get into it. By the way, completely transparent. I am definitely wearing my pajamas. <laughs> Just wanted to show you guys from here as well my little camera set up. So I got my camera above, a bit of lighting, and all of that good stuff. And then, yeah, I'm gonna jump into the video. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. If you're new here, um, welcome to my channel. We do everything nails, like literally everything from gel polish, acrylic, full cover, soft gel tips. I've chosen the colors that we're using and we're gonna get our soft gel tips applied. So let's go ahead and do that first. I'm gonna use the full cover soft gel tip from Glitter Planet and it comes in this gorgeous box. It's absolutely stunning. You literally get everything you need and you can choose the lamp as well. I will link this down in the description if you wanna grab it and I'll put my code there as well so you can get 10% off. I'm excited to use this palette as well because mwah, it's beautiful. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's scoot in. I haven't got everything prepared. I don't know why, but I just don't. Okay, so I'm going to use the XL Stiletto tips for this look. I'm very excited. Oh, my hands. I have been picking my skin. Sometimes I get super stressed and if I haven't got nails on, I kid you not, I'm just like, eh, 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 pick, pick, pick. It is terrible, but yeah, ignore that. We're going to do a manicure. We're going to get everything together. We're going to get this sorted out. Like, seriously. Stop. I hope everyone's doing amazing as well. So we are set up. Good to go. This is the flexi lamp as well that you can get in the kit. You have different options we wanted to have different options so you guys had different price points um but yeah this one is fancy literally so fab okay so we're gonna come in and do a quick manicure just a really quick um nothing too crazy because these are just gonna be a pop-off set also you guys i am gonna be carrying on with my princess nail set but um i took a little break from it but i'm i'm, I'm back we're gonna be on it yeah i think i did two and then we've took a little minute, but we're going to be back with the aerial set next. So definitely check it out once it's uploaded. I absolutely am obsessed with this tool. It is the Super Scraper. It's really good for pushing back your cuticles. So we're just nipping away some of that dead skin that I've pushed back to give us a bit of a cleaner finish. These are the new locking nippers as well. So they literally just, you can do that and they lock, squeeze them and they'll open up. How's everybody surviving? It's a six week holidays. I don't even know how many weeks we're into it. I don't even know. Don't even ask because, and I'm not going to work it out. It's been busy. It's been busy. <laughs> this tool is fabulous. It's a pumice stone kind of tool. Let me show you how amazing it is. I already started using it and then I was like, you know what, I'll put a little bit of prep work in. I wasn't going to bother because um, I know a lot of you guys do skip ahead on the prep work, which uh, the audacity, you know what I'm saying? I'm not joking. Just like removing the dead skin from the nails. It's really, really great at doing it and it's so gentle. You wouldn't normally apply oil, but because I'm doing a pop-off set, I'm just going to pop a little bit of oil around. So I'm going to use one of these um, turquoise colours as well. I was just thinking of the colour palette in my head and I was like, you know what, it's missing something. 
Okay, so we're going to come in and do our full cover tips. We have done three. I'm just going to show you guys two. So you're going to get the primer that comes in the kit and you're just going to prime the inside. I've added a base of clear gel to my thumb. I've cured that and then we're going to use the clear. We're just applying that into the nail tip. Press on our lamp. concentration this takes is unreal like seriously just going to come in and apply the clear you don't want to apply too much gel so make sure you like scoop out most of it So I've got my full cover tips applied. I'm just going to do a full cure in the big lamp. There we have it. We can come in now and do the design. I'm so excited for this bit, seriously. Can not wait. So these are the colours that I'm going to be using. Um, just super earthy, like neutrals with some blues in there as well. So these are the um, XL Stiletto full cover tips. We've got them on. We're going to come in and do a gorgeous design. So yeah, let's literally get into doing the design. I've literally taken so long for this video. <laughs> okay guys, so I finally got the tips on and we are going to jump straight into doing the designs. The design is actually quite simple and it looks so cute. Like the whole set together was such a vibe. So yeah, you could recreate this in so many different colorways as well. You don't have to choose these tones. It would work with the neons, pastels, or just a random bunch of colors that you just enjoy. So I'm starting off with earth stone and I'm going to do the ring finger and thumb. I'm doing both of these, the complete color, and then I'm curing that in the light for the full 60 seconds. Then I'm going to come in and we have these brand new disposable palettes on the website. I'm going to link all the products down below. So if you're interested in anything, they will be listed for you guys. But the website is Glitter Planet. Um, but yeah, I've popped my Thunder, oh no, sorry, Peacock Green um, gel on there. And I'm using the sponge buffer, sponge buffer, sponge tool. Um, and I'm just bouncing that on the nail to create like an aura design and then I'm coming in with the edge of the sponge and basically spreading it out so that it fizzles out into the nude. I'm not going to lie, this was a little bit tedious. I had to do quite a few layers and cure in between to build up the opacity. I'm not sure why, um, but yeah, it just, it, yeah. It took me a while. I think I did about three or four layers to get a real like depth in the center. It wasn't too much of an issue really, but I just felt like it was gonna go much quicker than that <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, but the next finger we're coming in with Thunder. This is a gorgeous teal, like a lighter than the peacock and painting the pointer finger. We're gonna do a croc print with Whimsical and the Blooming Gel. I was obsessed with this combo. It just looked so good. And I'm so glad that I decided to actually incorporate the blues within the set because I feel like it just really gave it a pop, especially against the gold and all the little charms that we are gonna add later on. So using the Baddest Liner brush, I'm just popping a lot of little dots basically into that blooming gel. I'm gonna give it a little minute to bloom and then allow that to bloom some more. I literally leave it for quite some time. And then once I'm happy with it, I'll cure it in the light for a full 60 seconds. I'm moving on to the middle finger and we're gonna use that earth stone as the base again. I'm just really trying to get down the colors so that we can come in and, you know, fancy them up with the golds in a little hot minute. So once I've come in and I've finished painting earth stone on the middle finger, I'm gonna use moss. So I'm gonna cure that first to freeze it in position. Then we're going to come in with Moss, which is this absolutely stunning khaki green gel. It's so pretty and it looks beautiful as a full colour as well. So if anyone's on the hunt for a khaki, I can highly recommend this. It's not too green, not too khaki, not too like, I don't know, it's just the perfect like khaki. You guys, you can see it's beautiful. So we're painting a French on this. I wanted this set to be a real abstract mix of techniques as well as using the whole colour palette but still having it very random. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't want to do a uniformed set. We're just having a play. We're getting, getting it together 
Um, it's fun and it's cute and I love creating this kind of set. I'm going to do one with acrylic next where I just do kind of a freestyle set. I'll choose some colours and we'll, we'll freestyle a set together. I'm also working on my next Disney Princess playlist instalment. So that's going to be the Ariel princess nails i can't wait for that i've got it all planned out it's gonna look freaking bomb so you guys best turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out because she is gonna be fire so I did go ahead and cure all of my gel in the light for a full 60 seconds and now with the tacky layer of the gel we're going to use the rose gold foil set one of my ultimate faves staple foil sets that I will literally use wherever possible in any design I'm obsessed with it if you own or if you're going to own a foil set and you just want one, this is the one to have. You've got every single colour to go with any single set that you create. You've got the golds, the rose golds, the silvers, super shiny plus super matte. And it literally covers every single aspect of any nail design. So yeah, definitely recommend this foil set. But for today's set, we're going to be using this bright yellow gold one because I just love how it pops against colours. I think it just looks absolutely beautiful. So once I've finished applying that, this this is how the nails are looking. Really cute and the perfect base for any charms that I'm planning to add. And let's basically jump into adding the charms because this bit is what kind of sets off the whole vibe. The 3D elements, the charms, all of that good stuff. I'm just obsessed with it at the minute. So let's get into it. I'm using the gem glue gel. And this gel dries with no tacky layer. So if you wanted to cure this and then add the chrome over the top, it's going to give you that really gorgeous multi-textured like dimensional look with the chrome do you know what i'm saying like yeah i think you know what i'm saying but yeah anyway <laughs> let's just move on i'm diverting from what we're doing so i'm using the gem glue gel because it's a super strong hold to hold on to these little mini balls these are so cute they just add an element that is so fun to the nail and you could literally place them in any order or however many you want on the nail i just have to say they were very fiddly and initially i was like how am i going to get them on um i decided to use the end of my silicone tool that was dunked in the gem glue and just literally attach them all to the end and smoosh them on the nail it kind of worked it it was a little tricky but i got there in the end i then cured those in the light so that they were held in position and now i'm adding some of these charms so this charm pot has loads of little stars moons and other little gold embellishments in there and it's the gold moon and star set from glitter planet it's so pretty probably one of my most used little charm trinket pots because i mean everybody loves galactic and stars and all that good stuff so yeah so i'm just coming in and i've attached those little charms with the gem glue gel cured them in position and now it's time to use the brand new opal crushed moonlight palette and i cannot I cannot with this. It's actually gorgeous. So it's a kind of a wet medium that's in there. Not super wet, but it's not a dry. It's not like a glitter or a powder. So it's pressed into the palette and you just want to use like a silicone tool to pick it up and smoosh it into the tacky layer. Now, this just looked absolutely stunning. I was obsessed with it like seriously obsessed with it it looked absolutely gorgeous over that khaki green and i just cannot wait to use it over more colors and see all the different effects and all the like little bits that i can create with this palette it's just beautiful cannot freaking wait it is available now we've just dropped it on the website so yeah get your hands on it if you're looking for a palette like this with its subtle shimmers that just catch the light and glimmer it's so so pretty i think it's going to be beautiful through winter time as well because there's some gorgeous like cool tones in there you know for like icy snow scenes so that's going to be fun Once I've finished applying the shimmer palette, I'm just going to go ahead and top coat everything with super gloss and then I'm going to come in with fluid gel. So this is going to be a gorgeous textured nail. I'm loving this look so I had to use or create one in this set. So I'm just going ahead and using the fluid gel and I'm creating this textured art. I'm making sure that between each one I give it a flash cure in the light so that it keeps its like raisedness and it keeps its texture 
texture. Otherwise, it is going to level a little bit and I wanted to keep it quite high. I top coated everything, added a cuticle oil and this is a final look. I love how it turned out. I think it's so freaking adorable. Let me know what you guys think and if you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you in the next one and make sure you've got those notifications on and yeah, leave me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and as always, thank you so much for watching and please remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye!